a left-handed shooter, you know how frustrating it can be to come home and realize that the new shotgun you just bought is configured for right-handed shooters. Fortunately, the solution is only a few easy steps away. I'm Eric with Beretta, and today we're going to show how to disassemble and adjust the stock cast and length of pull of your A400 Explorer and Extreme. To start, we have our A400 Extreme here, and our A400 Explorer. We've already taken the barrels off of both to make it easier to handle. Uh, if you don't know how to take the barrels off of either one of these, uh, you can view our disassembly videos for the A400 Extreme and the A400 Explorer. Now, to start, of course, you want to do a safety check on all of your firearms. Uh, for these, we've already taken the barrels off, as I mentioned, so there's really nothing to check in terms of a chamber. But we're going to drop the bolts Slowly, of course. Remember, if you just drop them without a barrel on, you can damage the charging handle. And we're going to push up on the carrier to check the magazine tube of both, just to make sure that there's no shell sitting in there. Explore is clear. Extreme is clear. We're going to go ahead and start with the A400 Explorer stock. Now, to remove the kickoff system in the stock for the A400 Explorer, you're going to need a few tools. Uh, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 13 millimeter deep well socket with an accompanying wrench, a pair of long needle nose pliers, and a T15 Torx screwdriver. To start you'll remove the recoil pad. There are two screw holes. Phillips head screwdriver will allow you to get in there and remove the attachment screws. Recoil pad off. We're going to go ahead and set it aside. Once we've done so, we notice that we have the kickoff unit. To remove the kickoff unit, you're going to want to get your T15 screwdriver and go in through the two screw holes that are marked by brass inserts. Okay, now once you've got it loose, you're just going to pull straight back. The whole assembly is going to come out as one. You're going to go ahead and set it aside. Now inside where the kickoff unit was, you're going to see a cast plate and the end of the stock bolt. You're going to take your 13 millimeter deep socket and your wrench and insert it over the stock nut and go ahead and remove it now. There's your 13 millimeter nut and you're also going to have a little lock washer set behind it. So we've got our cast plate, a lock washer, and a 13 millimeter nut. And then you want to just pull the stock straight back and set the receiver and the uh, rest of the action aside. At the front of the stock where it attaches to the receiver you're going to see a plastic shim. You're going to want to go ahead and pull it straight off the front of the stock. Go ahead and set the stock aside. These particular shims are set up for 60 or 55 millimeter drop and right or left hand. Now if you're a left hand shooter Assuming you want 60 millimeters of drop, you're going to want to put the plastic shim onto the stock with the letter C60SX facing you at the top. We're going to go ahead and put that on the front of the, of the stock now. At that point, you're going to want to match the numbers on the plastic shim with your cast plate. So it's, the plate should say C60SX at the top facing you as you drop it into the stock. Now that we've shown you how to adjust the stock drop and length of pull and how to remove and reinstall your kickoff unit on your A400 Explorer, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do the same with your A400 Extreme. First step is similar to the A400 Explorer. You're going to go ahead and remove the recoil pad, which is located at the rear. You utilize again the Phillips head screwdriver, two screw holes, one at the top and the bottom of the recoil pad. Now on the A400 Extreme, as with on the A400 Explorer, we offer multiple different stock spacers to allow for different lengths of pull. Uh, they both install in much the same fashion. You remove your recoil pad and reinstall through the spacer, and then reinstall onto the back of the stock like so. 
you can use either one or the other, or you can buddy them up and have multiple spacers on the same stock. Now if you're going to buddy them up and use multiple spacers on the same stock, you're going to need to get some longer screws, so give us a call. From there you're going to want to go ahead and remove your kickoff system. In order to save a little bit of time, I've already begun by removing two out of the five screws that are located in the rear of the stock. Now the kickoff system is held in partially with a plate at the rear of the stock here held in with five T8 screws. Once you've removed your T8 screws, you're going to be able to pull the plate at the back of the kickoff unit out. Careful when you do that, there are two springs underneath the plate that can pop. Now once you've removed that plate, you're going to be able to see down into the stock where the stock is attached. Just like on the A400 Explorer, it requires a 13 millimeter deep well socket in order to remove it. We're going to remove it now. Now once you've got the nut removed, you can go ahead and pull the socket out and remove the back half of the stock. The back half of the stock contains the stock drop and cast adjustment plate as well as the kickoff unit. We're going to go ahead and drop out the 13mm nut that holds the stock on and the lock washer, just like on the A400 Explorer. Now you might have to shake them up a little bit to get them to fall out. Once you've got it out, you can remove the kickoff unit along with the stock drop and cast adjustment plate. Now you're going to want to push on the plastic shim located at the front part of the back half of the stock out towards the rear, like so. The rubber boot you can go ahead and set aside. Kickoff for unit is removed, stock is removed. When you've got it out, you can go ahead and see the stock drop and cast adjustment plate located here inside the kickoff unit. It slides out. It's retained by two little plastic ledges. We're going to go ahead and set it aside for now. The second half of the stock drop and cast adjustment system is located on the front part of the stock, still on the receiver. You're going to want to give it a little tug and break it loose. and pull the shim off as well. So now we have two halves of the stock. The kickoff unit, the rubber boot, and the stock drop and cast adjustment shim and plate. To adjust from the right hand cast that it comes from the factory set up as, to a left hand cast, you're just going to want to make sure that the numbers and letters at the top are set up with SX visible towards the shooter. Now that we've got the stock drop and cast the way that you want it, all we've got to do now is reassemble the kickoff unit and the stock. For more exclusive videos and tips, and to chat with us, make sure you log on to GreataUSA.com or connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.